Hello and welcome to Mr. Money. In this video, we are going to show you how to create funny, viral, sticky animation videos for your YouTube channel automation so that you can make $5,000 per month. So the first step is to find or create your script for your sticky animation. Remember, we're going for something funny here. So although most of the gurus will point you in the direction of ChatGPT or Gemini AI and asking them to write a script for our characters to say, we're aiming to try to get a funny reaction because we are creating comedy. It's a sticky animation that is funny. So we need that emotion or something that resonates with the viewers. So in this example, instead of using ChatGPT or Gemini AI, instead, I'm going to make a search on Google. I'm going to search for a funny conversation between a boy and a girl and then enter a social media or something where I can find this information or where somebody has shared a joke between the conversation between the boy and girl. In this example right here, we have Quora. You can also use Pinterest or Reddit. Or if you happen to have found another conversation between a boy and a girl on social media, then that is something that you can also use in your sticky animation. So right here, we're going to search for Quora to get started. As you can see, we have some search results on Google. This is a joke that we can use right here. Let's click into it to find out more information. Here, you might find that the joke is written as a paragraph, or if you're very lucky, you might see the two characters talking between each other that another user has shared on Quora. And then we are going to take what's said between both characters and put that into a script format so we can use it in the next stage. The key note here, the thing that you are looking for is a high upvote. So a reaction like many likes and shares. This is going to ensure that your sticky animation is going to get a similar reaction. Here we have one that has only 134 upvotes. So you might get a mediocre view duration for your joke if you follow this exact joke here. But we're going to use it in this example just to show you how this method works. If you find a better joke, try that instead. And keep in mind those upvotes when it was posted and depending on what social media you're using, the other metadata that you can see on that piece of content, take that into consideration before using that joke. It needs to be a good joke for you to go viral. This one here actually might be the better choice as it has over 4,900 upvotes. But for our type of sticky animation, it might be quite difficult to do because there is some physical interaction during the conversation. Also keep in mind, is the joke long or too long for your video? Are you creating a YouTube short or TikTok or alternatively a long form video? This will decide how long your joke should be. Now let's have a look through Pinterest. It might be better to use Pinterest because these jokes are shared as an image that you can look at quite quickly, meaning that your video might be shorter when using these funny conversations. This one here is absolutely brilliant. It's short, snappy, to the point, and it's most likely potentially going to go viral because of how short and snappy it is. Let's read this one out for you. Are you ready? Do makeup. Wait. You don't need makeup, honey. Ah, oh, really? You need plastic surgery. Now, this is an absolutely banging joke. It's very funny. It's very quick, short, and sharp. We're going to use this in our example because we're going to be able to make this quite quickly. So what I've done is I've just copied that really short joke into a text file so I can copy and paste it into this what we're going to use to create our voiceover for our sticky animation. This website is called ttsfree.com tech to speech free and this is where we're going to get our voices for our animation. So right here is where you're going to enter each line that we have just taken from our joke. The first line of the joke is, are you ready? Remember which character says what? This is our male character. He needs to say this first. So now we have our text in the box. Scroll down and you can sample the voices that you want to use for your animated character. By pressing play, you can have a listen. 
The life that you are living now is also a dream of millions. The life that you are living now is also a dream of millions. The life that you are living now is also a dream of millions. So when you're happy with your selection, make sure you have that check mark next to the name of the voiceover type that you want to use. And remember it when you're entering the next speech line for that character. If you want to edit the voice further, you can change the pitch or adjust the voice speed. Once you're happy with the voice and what you've written, select convert now. Now it does temporarily push you to the bottom of the page. Don't worry about this, scroll back up and then you can download your MP3. You can also sample it before you download. Are you ready? With a short advertisement and then your download is ready. I advise that you go to that download and give it a correct name so you can find it later on when you need it for your animation. The next step for your sticky animation is the visual and we are going to do this on Adobe Express. You can sign up for a free trial account of Adobe Express right now. Once on the inside, select this plus icon on the left bar. Then from here, select quick actions. In quick actions, you want to search for animate and you will see animate from audio. Select this. This is where we're going to get started with our sticky animation. Let's bring it to life. So we can select our characters. You can scroll through your characters here to find a sticky animation or alternatively, you can try and filter by category. You can see new, all people, young people, professional people, costume characters, creatures, animals, zodiac emojis, robots, classroom, sports, food, music, mouth only, springtime, heart, haunt, and wintertime. As well as the character that we're going to make a selection for, we are going to make sure that we have the right video size. In this example, we're creating a YouTube short, but you can see other examples of videos that you can create. Stories and Reels is given right here, 9 by 16. That's what is used for a YouTube short. So this is the aspect ratio for a YouTube short. You can also alternatively use 1 by 1, 4 by 5, Landscape, IGTV, and more. Now this is resized for Instagram, but if you select the drop down, there are other options and you can filter by it as social network or websites. Facebook, X, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Snapchat, TikTok, also available. Let's select YouTube for this example as it then gives us YouTube Shorts. Let's select YouTube Shorts from this option. Now we've changed the aspect ratio of what the video will be once we've completed. The background image. Now the joke is in a specific area because it's between a boy and a girl getting ready. So let's try and find something that matches what we've got here. You can see that we have bedroom. That's absolutely perfect for what we're going to do. But this bedroom is not the type of bedroom you would normally see a couple in. As you can see, there are quite some childish posters or sports orientated and I'm not sure what this uh, astrology that's on the wall. So it doesn't really look like the bedroom of a couple. So let's look through to see if there are other, other options available. Indoors might be a better option. Living room, even better. So now we have our aspect ratio and the background of our sticky animation. Now let's make sure we select each character. Make sure the character is the same for the next line of speech that you enter. We're animating by the audio and we've done each line of audio individually. So this is why it was important to name your files before you got to this step. So you can find your files easily and use each one and animate them accordingly. Brilliant, we found our sticky animation right here. This is going to be our boy, and this is what we're going to do next. We're going to enter the audio that we have just created. You can see you have to have a specific file format for your audio. You can have MP3, this one, which I'm not fairly familiar with, waveform, or alternatively, MP4 files. They can be up to two minutes long, and one gigabyte maximum, which is quite a large size for an audio file. So you don't really have to worry too much about the size most likely when you're using the methods in which we're showing you here. You then have two options, record or browse. If you select browse, you can find your audio file that should be on your device that you're using. If you downloaded it to your device, you'll be able to find that quite easily. I'm just gonna go into my downloads, find the boy voiceover, and enter the first line that I've named right here. The first line is, are you ready? Brilliant, so we have our first line animation completed. Let's press play to have a look here. Are you ready? 
do this for each line and then move on to the next character. If you go back, you can enter your next line. So I'm going to do the same exact thing for the next line. Computing lip sync. Let's download our media again. So now we're getting started on our girl voice lines, but this character looks the same. Let's open in the editor. Once you've created your animation, if you go back on the download page, this is where you can replace the audio. Select browse and find the next line. Now there's only two lines for our female character, but I did notice there was no female sticky and no way to edit the sticky's clothes. So in this example, I'm also going to use a different voice line because the word R was actually quite difficult for the text to speech to sound out. So I've created an alternative version with just the word really, which sounds a lot better. So remember, if you have short words with one syllable, it might sound a little bit different. So one sound, one long sound, it might sound different and it might be quite difficult for the text to speech to create that sound. So in this case, we've used the word really. So in this example, what I'm going to do for my video editing is we're going to use Canva. Canva is entirely free for you to use right now. So everything we're showing you in this editing process, you can do for free. You don't have to pay for the software or download it natively on your PC or mobile device. You can use it entirely online. You can see in the tabs up above, once you've signed up for your free account or alternatively you're using a paid version of Canva, you will be able to see video from the main icons at the top. So let's see all under video. Remember, we've made a YouTube short, so we need to edit those pieces together in the right resolution, the right dimensions. Mobile video is available 1080 by 1920. You can also see YouTube video, TikTok video, and more. Now, mobile video is going to be perfect because it's the right aspect ratio. You can see the pixels underneath here. Select mobile video. Now this is going to be fairly simple. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload all of our video files that we've just created for our sticky animation. If you go to the side menu, you can see upload, select upload, and then you can select upload files. Here you can see our files. I'm going to try to select all of the files that we have by dragging my click and selecting open. Right now you can see all of those files now uploading. Once the loading bar is complete, we have those files ready. We could have done them one by one, but let's preview the sounds and videos first. You're also given the length of the video that you've just uploaded. For example, this one here is 2.5 seconds. No, it's just moved because there's another one that's been uploaded. This one is 2.4 seconds. This one's 1 1.7. If we drag this in. Are you ready? That's the first line. So we did do it in some sort of chronological order. You basically uploaded it in the right order, which is actually quite helpful to me. It might be wrong, but all you have to do is resize your video so that it fills the screen. It should fit perfectly because you've got the correct size and just make sure it fits. And if not, you can stretch it a little bit further. Now here comes the magic. You need to make sure that it's the correct size for all of the scenes, or you have the same size for all of the scenes. Otherwise it's going to look like your character moves on screen, like he's moving around. Or if you decide to change the placement to make sure everything aligns, what you then want to do, because we've created our first scene, is select our next scene. We need the response. Doing makeup, wait. That's brilliant. Let's make sure it's in the right place in the video. And then it's just a case of making sure that each line is in the right order by adding the next page and adding the response. You don't need makeup, honey. Next scene. Really? Remember, you can add sound effects and music to your animation. Here, I'm inside the YouTube audio library. The song that I'm going to use is by Aaron Kenny. It's a bright mood, cinematic, and it's called The Curious Kitten. The reason why I'm pointing this out to you is because this is entirely copyright free. In some cases, the license might be slightly different, like this song here, where it's Creative Commons Attribution, where you need to add a credit in the description of the video. So do keep in mind that the license might be slightly different. I'm going to use a YouTube license song so I can use it with no issues inside of my YouTube short. Also, YouTube shorts have a different music policy. So when you're using popular music in your YouTube short, you might want to take a look during the upload flow to see if you can use that song for your territory. 
but you will still be able to monetize your video when using popular music in your YouTube shorts. You just need to pay attention to what happens during the upload flow. And just like you did with the videos and uploading your videos, you can do the same with your audio. So selecting audio right here, selecting upload files, you can find the audio that we've just downloaded from the YouTube audio library. And then we can add this to our animation to give it a seamless flow from beginning, middle and end. Drag this into your timeline below, change the timing accordingly. And then you have some music and let's make sure that we don't need to sync it with the beat. So I'm going to ignore that for now. But one thing we can do is we can adjust the volume to make sure that our voiceover is much louder than the music itself. Are you ready? Doing makeup. Wait. You don't need makeup, honey. Really? You need plastic surgery. Perfect. What a joke. We could add some sound effects right at the very end there for just comedic effect. So remember, you can maximize your earnings by not only uploading YouTube shorts, but uploading long form content. When selecting the aspect ratio of your sticky animation, you can also use long form video to make a very short, long video full screen so you can maximize your earnings. And this is how you can earn even more money when using these sticky animation videos. And of course, when editing with Canva, you can also select the correct aspect ratio for your full screen videos as well. Then once you're happy, select that share button in the top right hand corner, select download, MP4 video is right here, 1080p, download the video ready, then your video will download to your device. Remember, you can also give it a name before you download it and you can upload this to YouTube right now. You can do this for all different types of jokes and you can also make the video full screen. So let's have a look at the final piece. Are you ready? Doing makeup, wait. You don't need makeup, honey. Really? You need plastic surgery. You can create sticky videos like this right now using the methods we've just shown you in this video. And don't forget, more importantly, you can also do this for long form videos, full screen videos of sticky animation jokes right now so you can maximize your YouTube earnings. Consider using jokes that are very relevant to something that is trending right now. If you find a joke that is trending or something, a topic, a joke about a topic that is currently trending, this is going to maximize that revenue as you will be able to dip into different niches with your sticky animation jokes. For example, today there is speculation that the stock market is crumbling or failing or there's something wrong with the stock market. Imagine you find a joke on that topic. You can then use that in your metadata of your video, helping you maximize your revenue earnings on YouTube as you have then made a video which is relevant to the stock market, even though it's in joke form. You can then make this in two different formats, YouTube Shorts or a full screen long video. Although your video is not eight minutes long, it's a short form video that can get a lot of views and high retention. Effectively maximizing your earnings because you can do this as many times as you like. Just think about how many jokes in this format you can make right now to maximize your YouTube earning potential. And this is how you can make $5,000 per month making viral, sticky, animation, funny videos right now for your YouTube automation channel. This is how you can automate the entire process and make these videos to earn that money. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to thumbs up the video, like and subscribe right here on Mr. Money. Thank you for watching.